Rumors of a quarrel between Naomi Campbell and Rihanna are being denied by a representative for her team. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Despite video footage of the two powerful women meeting paths recently appearing to suggest otherwise, a source reportedly disclosed that the model has no issues with the superstar singer. According to reports, Naomi Campbell's representative, 54, claimed that there are no issues between the two. As the diamond singer meets the person seated next to her, the runway model can be seen in the footage looking up at Rihanna, 36, with a friendly smile. Naomi Campbell was among the several people in the vicinity who came forward to give assistance to Rihanna when she almost slipped on her gown later in the video. In case you didn't notice. That being said, based on what little we have seen, we don't really blame people for concluding that they don't get along. For instance, on Friday, both celebrities went to an event during New York Fashion Week. Rihanna didn't seem to acknowledge the Dior partner as she approached to say hello to a man who was seated just next to Campbell, which a lot of fans are taking at face value. In case you missed it, Naomi Campbell refuted rumors that she and Rihanna were having problems in 2021. We're not sure where this whole thing started, but a lot of people believe it's just a rivalry between the media, fashion, and other industries. The fact that this isn't Campbell's only high-profile celebrity encounter of the year shouldn't come as a surprise given her enormous popularity. At Chanel's runaway earlier this year, she was seated in the front row with Kendrick Lamar or really, the other way around, as she's the style icon here. Rihanna doesn't have to worry about Naomi Campbell or anyone else because her husband Asap Rocky is always there to compliment her. It's crazy how we find balance with our chaotic schedules, he told Bill word of their bond. The relationship is going great. I don't think there's a more perfect person because when the schedules are hectic, she's very understanding of that. And when the schedule's freed up, that's when you get to spend the most time together. It's all understanding and compatibility. Jeezy is allegedly not abiding by the conditions of their divorce settlement, according to Jeannie Mai, who also alleges he owes her a substantial amount of money and documentation for two sets of wheels. Talk show presenter claims that her rapper ex-husband is not carrying out a number of the agreements they made when they finalized their divorce, according to recent court documents. According to Jeannie, as part of their divorce settlement, Jeezy must pay her for their child's daycare, and school expenses, transfer the titles to two cars, put at least $500,000 in an interest-bearing account for the child, and pay four months' worth of rent. The problem is that Jeannie alleges Jeezy is abandoning her and leaving her high and dry. She says he has not followed through on his promises. According to the documents, Jeannie alleges Jeezy hasn't given her access to the $500k account he was meant to set up for their kid, and that he already owes her $4,000 for daycare and education. Regarding the vehicles, Jeannie claims that the terms of their divorce settlement stipulated that she would leave the marriage with a 2022 Ford Bronco and a 2021 Range Rover. However, she claims that Jeezy has not yet given her ownership of the cars, which keeps her from being able to insure them and delays her plans to ship the Bronco from Atlanta to Los Angeles. In addition, Jeannie alleges that Jeezy is supposed to pay her rent from May through August according to the terms of their divorce settlement. But he hasn't paid her back and she now owes him $92,417.39 for over four months' worth of rent. On June 11, Jeannie and Jeezy sealed their divorce agreement, which was kept confidential. This is the first indication of their agreement. But Nikki was very, very correct when she said, ain't no friends in the game. In response to Cleotropa's harsh tirade, Ice Spice has stated that her ex-buddy has crashed out because she is no longer able to utilize her well-known best friend. Welcome back. Video called out Ice Spice in a string of TikToks that lasted more than 45 minutes on Monday night. I didn't say any of those stuff to you because I'm scared of you. Why would I be scared of you? She said that Ice Spice had mistreated her on their tour and that her invitation was really intended as damage management following the exposure of the Munch rapper by a former acquaintance. After Cleo's tirade went viral and peaked at number one on X, Ice Spice responded. In order to clarify, she joined a Twitter Spaces conversation. And I'm sharing my stage with you and you feeling so entitled like- The rapper from the Bronx claims that Cleo omitted some important information. Crashing out is sad you guys, she began. The scary part of fame honestly is the moment that somebody feels like they can no longer use your platform or like they're not getting exactly what they want out of a situation the way that they want it that's when they decide to crash out every single time. I'm noticing a pattern. Ice Spice said that although the circumstances made her sad, I genuinely was trying to help her, so she invited Cleo on tour. She clarified that she was granted an extra tour bus and had the room, so she only got in touch at the last minute. You got less than 10,000 listeners and I'm sharing my stage with you, she added. And you feeling so entitled. Cleo claimed that because she wasn't on the budget, her tour managers wouldn't purchase her a chicken salad. Ice Spice refuted this. But that's what the FK I get for trying to be a good person, she asserted. 
We was having fun. So for you to try to sit here and complain about a chicken salad. You never came to me talking about a chicken salad. What are you really talking about right now? She then bashed Cleo for eating so much while dining out that the server was stunned. B, you're not going to tell the people how we was at an Italian restaurant and you ate so much FK food, you FK vacuum, that the server was like, where did the food go? She said. Ice Spice then turned to Cleotropa's gripe over security's refusal to carry her luggage. You thinking that my peoples that work for me is supposed to work for you too. That's so crazy to me, she said, claiming that Cleo barged into the bathroom while I'm butt ass naked trying to press me about some bags that you got to carry. Moreover, Ice Spice questioned why Cleotropa would be friends with her for two years if she's as soulless and dark. I didn't even know you got off the bus, she insisted. And you gon' send me an essay with an intro, body and a conclusion and you want me to try to like analyze this essay and figure out how I'm wrong when all I did was share my stage with you and I ain't even have to do that. As Cleotropa learned of Ice Spice's reply, she accused her of fat shaming. In addition, she said that despite Ice Spice's previous claims, she was taking Ozbik. Imagine being called big by someone that was just big, Cleo said, referencing Ice Spice's story about the restaurant. I'm going to bed bro Ozbik got y'all gassed and fatphobic now. B-A-T. Dishing more dirt, Cleo also claimed Ice Spice hid out in the tour bus because she thought Cardi B sent goons for her. Who TF told you to start with that lady anyways? Nobody, she wrote. You picked with her now you scared. Fellow former friend Baby Storm also responded to the drama. I tried to warn you and you just threatened to beat me up, she replied, quote tweeting a previous warning from Cleo. Nevertheless, I'm sorry that happened to you. Cleo responded, claiming she only said that because she was mad at Ice Spice. You really could have DM'd me from the jump, she replied. F you was on some real BST word but thank you.